Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Jeffy and Chihuahua. Today we're going to be working on one of the coolest things that I have done to date. It is this really neat soap holder. The reason that it's so cool is because it's specially designed so that it drains all of the water off of it when you put the soap bar back on it and that extends the life of the soap bar. I got this mold on Etsy. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. I was really impressed with this particular mold because there are a lot of them out there, but I couldn't find any that had good drainage besides this one. And so this one is, in my personal opinion, top of the line, best mold out there. If you live in America like me, the shipping's a little pricey because it's far away, but it is absolutely worth it. This guy also does a bunch of other silicone molds for things like candle vessels, so it's definitely worth checking out his shop regardless of what you craft. Today we're going to be working with some resin. This is just a standard two-part resin. You mix equal parts of the two separate together for about three minutes and that makes up your batter. You do have quite a bit of time to work with it, which is really awesome because you can make some really creative designs with this. Something you need to keep in mind though is that it's not designed to be done in super thick layers. So if you're gonna be using it with this particular mold, I would suggest doing it in a minimum of four separate sections. My favorite ones that I've made so far are these ones with little pieces of clay at the front. I got the little clay pieces on Etsy as well just from a different shop. Now if you're going to be putting in the clay pieces and you want them to lay flat, you're going to want to take a toothpick and just do a clear layer of the epoxy resin, sprinkle on some of those little clay pieces, and then use that toothpick to kind of get the clay pieces flat, that way you can see the full picture from the front. After that, every layer is pretty much the same. You're just going to mix that equal two-part resin mixture, and once you feel that it's completely mixed, you'll add your glitter, give that a good mix, and then you'll pour it into your mold. And to get rid of the bubbles, you're going to want to use a torch. These are made for baking, I believe, but they are really, really good at getting rid of your bubbles. You're going to want to get it close enough that the heat from the torch is hitting your product, but not the actual flame. Silicone is heat resistant up to a really high amount, however these molds were not meant to be used like this, so just be careful to go over it really quickly if you're using it for this purpose. So far I've made about 15 of them in the molds that I received and it hasn't seemed to affect them at all. I let all of my layers dry for about two hours in between each layer. The directions for the epoxy said that as long as your previous layer is still a little bit sticky, your next layer will adhere perfectly. To finish off my design, I added these really cute little chihuahuas to the back of each of my pieces. Just had to throw a little bit of branding in there. Then I let the piece dry for a full 24 hours after that, I unmolded the piece and voila, seriously incredible soap dish holders. Every single time I make one of these and I unmold, I'm blown away at the design. It comes out so awesome every single time. I will say one thing I've noticed is no matter how hard I try, I do always have a couple small bubbles, but as long as you're using that torch with every layer, you're going to really minimize those bubbles. And if you use glitter, they're really hardly noticeable unless you're up close with like a microscope going at it. <laughs> Some of these will be available on my website for purchase, but most of these honestly turned out so good I'm gifting them to family members as Christmas gifts. These take a really long time to make if I'm being honest, so I don't know that these are going to be a regular thing in my shop. However, I do intend to learn how to make these with cement, which is what the molds were originally intended for, and those I think will be a lot quicker to produce, and it's something that I think everyone who uses barred soap should have on hand. So I'll definitely put out a video once I get some cement so we can all learn how to make our cement dishes together. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another video. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button and subscribe. It is a 100% free way that you can help this channel grow. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.